So the first possession will go to Penn State. Shelly Hammonds, Brent, is the guy that really shows that breakaway ability. Uh, good instincts when he sees Day's light. He doesn't have to think about it. He just reacts and gets to it. Underway. Bobbled in the end zone by Hammonds. He'll come out, collides with his own man. There's confusion. BYU jumps all over the return man. Tony Saka dislocated the ring finger on his throwing or right hand against USC. It was put back in place by the team doctor last Saturday night, and we'll see how it works out. There is the tape on that right ring finger, and to start the game, just what Dick Vermeil predicted, a handoff. Now, the offensive backs and the receivers, Sam Gash, the workman fullback, they are looking for someone to break out of the tailback spot. The two most dangerous players would be the wide receivers. There's the offensive line built around the center, Greg Huntington, at 274 pounds. Derek Pickett, by the way, moves in a tackle this week. And Jerry Collins, number 23, he is former star Andre Collins, younger brother. He's about leading Gash. Number 11, Gash, comes out to the 11-yard line. Now, Hanson, along with Rocky Beagle, numbers 50 and 45, are the heart of this defensive front. Very inexperienced. Tony Crutchfield, number 24, leads the secondary for Brigham Young, leading them to the upset and thus setting up a Heisman Trophy win for their quarterback, Ty Dedman. Now Saka with his first pass of the evening, and he will not be able to get it off as he is strung out. His receivers were covered. Hilkowski standing back on his own goal line. Woo! Gets it off. Matsuzaki with good speed if he can find an alley. And out of bounds at the 41-yard line. But really, the key to their running game and everything else is putting the ball in the air. They will run on first down, however, and Penn State not fooled. And there's Tui Pelotu, and Matsuzaki returned the punt. Mealy, Drage, the other wide receivers. Well, Roger French, the offensive coordinator for BYU, said they're coming here to run. They don't think they can just beat them throwing the football. Uh, Jamal Willis, who got the call on that first carry, quickly exits the game, and they go back to their usual fullback, tailback. Everybody out, and Detmer pass is knocked away, incomplete by Reggie Gibbon. Through the years, their linebackers have been the key, and there are some good ones here. Number 38, Mark D'Onofrio. Keep an eye on him because he dislocated a shoulder in practice. Derek Bonna, Darren Perry, Lee Rubin, and Leonard Humphreys, the defensive backs. Because they throw the ball more than they run, he will, but uh, he won't be 100%. The aerial circus continues. Just getting underway, down the middle and incomplete. He broke a man open. In the cover, he said it actually doesn't make much difference what cover you use. They, they still throw completed passes. Both men share one thing in common. Each has captured a national championship in Paterno's case, too. The punt is fielded on the 10-yard line by McDuffie. 38-21, they did a wonderful job, and the state of Florida thus loses for the first time. Saka couldn't find a receiver, forced to take it on the run, turns it upfield, and gets to the 29-yard line before Giles. <laughs> Handing off to Collins and Andre's younger brother. So Penn State going to work behind that always well-coached offensive line, trying to wear down this Cougar defense. Again, that was Collins. So on second down, Saka handing off to Collins, another first down for the Nittany Lions, and he gets the midfield for 18 yards. And Saka with a good fake, throws complete to the 35-yard line. So Saka's first pass attempt right on target. Then he comes back with Gash, the short man. This is second and long, McDuffie down to his right, and Collins getting the carry. And the Cougars slow him up. In a passing situation, they'll send Smith out from a slot. Saka has time, fires to the tight end, sails out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Run to set up the touchdown and forget about the pass. <laughs> <laughs> the block people just make big plays. All start offense. The difference was against UCLA in the second half, they were back in the ballgame. 
Now Gash battles his way to the 20-yard line. They got the 46 defense are coming after him. Saka straight back, going to lob one, a little long and incomplete. Good audible. They're coming after him again. Playing tight coverage. He's audibling. Firing to oh. Smith. Incomplete. This is the first time that a BYU opponent has attempted a field goal all season. And Fair looking at those narrower goalposts, going for a 38-yarder. Puts Penn He's State ahead here in the first quarter at the 8.02 mark. Penn State three, Brigham Young nothing. the 16 by Willis. Willis running to the right and is forced out. He should have been out there on the field already. And Tui Pelotu, number 32, he probably is a better fullback. Linebackers are coming this time. Detmer under pressure and Bubba. will not get away from Tioka Jackson. It's third and 14 for Detmer. Four-man rush, steps away from the pressure, complete to Tui Pelotu, coming out of the backfield. Detmer firing to that sideline and intercepted at the 25. Beautiful interception by Derek Bana. So the interception by a young Bana. 70 in his graduating class in a small school. What a fine athlete he has turned out to be. And Collins, tight end is to his right. And this is Collins. And at the point of attack, we'll start at noon. This is third and four for Saka and the Nittany Lions. Saka off the play fake, buys some time. Receivers are covered. He breaks free and runs for it. Tony Saka for the first down to the slot on the left side. Collins swinging in that direction, gets outside the contain man, and makes his way to the 46-yard line. Got seven that time. This is Collins again. Spins and was perhaps a foot or so short of the We will never forget that play, will we? You got that right. Third down and a foot. First down. Good job has not thrown the ball real well as of yet. Here's the end around. McDuffie now will follow to the 45. And finally out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Their wide receivers are more dangerous than their running backs. That's why they put the ball in their hands on the end around. And that was one of the finest runs of the night. And it's first and 10 again for Penn State. And now this is Gash, the fullback. And he blasts his way. Not used to having lost four football games in a row at that school in Provo, Utah. Collins again to the 31-yard line. Let's see what they come up with here on third and four. They're coming after him. Collins spins away again. First thing you need. And Brian Moser checks in into that backfield, and they'll put him on a wing as an additional blocker. If they follow Moser, they'd go to the left, and they will on a toss to Collins, and it's going to be close. Hit him with a real good play-action pass on first down. First and 10, three wide receivers and only one running back. And the hand is to the running back, and Collins is hammered at that 25. 3 nothing. Penn State leading B. This is their quarterback, Tony Saka, his final year of eligibility, with a second down at the BYU 26-yard line. Collins getting the call again. It is jammed up. He cuts back. He got all there was out of that down for the Nittany Lions and Saka to throw the first down inside the 10 yard line he hits Smith now first and goal Saka running a little delay and Brigham Young jumped all over that <laughs> second down Saka to throw 
coming with that middle screen, and Smith could not get a handle. Now it's third and goal. Smith slotted to the left. Saka with time. Now it breaks down. His receivers were covered, and Saka's going to take off in a foot race. Going for the end zone and a touchdown, but there's a penalty flag down at the goal line. If they're going to blitz, you might as well blitz down here where you don't have much room to cover. Saka will throw it. Got one-on-one. -on -one. Smith for the diving catch and the touchdown. So the penalty doesn't matter a lick as Saka comes back and hits Smith for the evening's first touchdown. Attempting the extra point. Right through. And it's a 10-point Penn State lead. As the Nittany Lions drive 75 yards in 17 plays. We'll be right back. Willis and Mortensen are back deep. Nice kick. Mortensen at the four. To the 29-yard line. And what about Ty Detmer? What does he have to do here now to get this team going? Well, they came here to run. They're not running well. What I think they have to do is do is a good job of executing stuff like this their play action and their controlled passing game they'll need a confidence builder here on this drive Drage is the motion man Detmer under pressure. pressure turns back to his left and will take off for the far side and out of bounds at the 36 yard line Tui Pelotu. <laughs> Surely Ty Detmer has not gone to the hand warmer with a temperature in the 50s. Third down now, and Detmer fires incomplete. That's and there's a penalty marker down. There's number nine, Perry, going on him. I think he's on him early. He's on him early, and they're going to call that. His shoulder, he's pushing on his back. Tui Pelotu on that draw trap that they feature as a running game. Tui Pelotu with a big hole close to a first down in that state right now, too. Using motion, short yardage, they buck for it. A lot of folks love to see you fall down, but he's had a great college career, and this season's not over yet. 9.15 to go. He's trailing by 10. There's a penalty marker down on the far side. Ooh. Pass is completed at the 10-yard line. You can Illegal look for formation. BYU. Only six men on the line of scrimmage on the offense. You're going to repeat the down. You know, look for post-corner combinations. Second down. For the corner. And the touchdown. Wonderful throw by Detmer to Bryce Doman, number 83 at the corner. And that is the record. With that touchdown pass, Ty Detmer becomes the all-time college career total yardage leader. And just like that, BYU right back in the middle of it. So it's the land war of Penn State 10 and the aerial circus of BYU 7. We'll come right back to Happy Valley in a moment. <laughs> Hammonds he fumbles the ball and Anderson picks it up. Anderson finds an opening and he bolts out to the 39 yard line. How about and we see down on the Brigham Young sideline, that was Doman who caught that touchdown. What they were tending to there, that could be a shoulder injury down on the sideline. Eight and a half minutes left in the first half. Saka running away from the pressure and throwing low and incomplete to Kyle Brady. Situation. Though he, a blitz coming, he, he might audible right now. Looks like they're up to press. There it was. The late handoff to gash the fullback. They add a third in this formation. Saka 
over the middle and complete to McDuffie for the first down. McDuffie and Smith. Richie Anderson is the tailback after that 18-yard completion. With the blitz coming, Saka rolling to the left, finds Smith all alone and out of bounds. He would have scored, except he was losing his balance. First and 10. The ball is at the BYU 17. And this is Anderson picking his daylight to the 11-yard line. Students on their football team as well as a fine football player. On second down, Anderson. They also like to run reverses down in this area. Well, they will go to the short side with that slant. Smith is slotted. They're looking in that direction. The blitz. Arnold's got him. The ball's loose. Brigham Young recovers at the 23. Arnold coming on the blitz. Got Saka from the blind side. And it goes over to BYU. First and 10 now for Ty Detmer and the Cougars. Now they run that delay to a Peluto. 10-7. Penn State over BYU. It's first and ten. Cougars ball. Detmer with one touchdown oh. pass and two below two again into the heart of that Penn State defense. It's number 38 for Penn State. Coming after him again. D'Onofrio coming through. So a defensive lift. Now putting Detmer in third and long. Detmer will move the pocket to the left. Firing low and incomplete. BYU forced to punt. Hoffman booms one high. It's a dandy. McDuffie will go to the fair catch at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Penn State forcing the BYU punt. And they will run Jerry Collins, who is back into that tailback spot. Real nice block. And next week... Bobby and the Seminoles go up to Ann Arbor to take on Michigan. That should be a great Saka back. Bang! To the middle and complete to McDuffie. First and ten for Penn State. Near midfield. Gash the fullback swinging outside on the right side. Nickel was the first defender to hit him. But again, a touchdown pass from Detmer. That's right. And that turnover really just breaks the first would-be tackler and gets to the BYU 45. The Nittany Lions would, if nothing else, like to maneuver into field goal range. And first of all, they're going to go for the touchdown. McDuffie, and he overthrows him. He was very well guarded. Good punt. And fair catch. At the 15-yard line, the largest crowd to ever watch a game here at Penn State. Is Ty Detmer with a first and ten on the roll. Woo! Throwing complete to Matsuzaki, who's got room to run, and he takes out to the 46-yard line. Clock is stopped while the chains are moved. Detmer, five-step drop. Receivers were covered. Steps to the right, to the sideline, and incomplete. Out of bounds. See, he just bounces right outside. He has a great awareness of where all those people are. Really close to being inbounds. All he needs in college ball, remember, is one foot in bounds. Four of nine for the night, 106 yards, one touchdown and one interception. Back to put it up again, and he has got his running back. They're bringing, they're going after him with pressure, they, and they got it. Down he goes at the 45-yard line. We're in a good position to do that a week ago. Better Under go. pressure, they got to Kaufman. They went for the punt block. And the ball will be down inside the 50-yard line. Forget about the fancy reverse. They went for the punt block that time. They, he's credited with the block punt. Now, Tony Saka pulling back. Smith in the sideline, out of bounds. 13 seconds left on that clock. He's both his fine receivers are on that right side. He's looking for LaBarca. Going for the touchdown, and LaBarca incomplete. You can assign the different people to call a timeout. Get out of this. Out of bounds. Okay. So there, now they're much closer. Yeah. And with four seconds to go, now it's a 44-yard attempt instead of a 52 after that completion. And Fayette's field goal is no good. 
So Penn State will take a three-point lead into the locker room. It's 10-7 Penn State, and we'll return with halftime activities after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Penn State built a 10-point lead. Brigham Young then scored on a tie Detmer touchdown pass. They trail it by three, and the Cougars will get the ball here to start the second half. Willis with the return out to the 28-yard line, and it will be first and 10. There was a fumble. Fumble, they're rolling, and it goes over to Penn State of the passing hand, but it has not affected him all that much. This is Smith in motion behind him, and this is Collins, the running back. Collins smashes inside the 25. 96,000 on hand. Largest crowd ever watch a game in the state. Collins inside the 15 for a first down. First and 10, ball at the 14. And the toss to Collins, who stays on his feet and makes his way to the five-yard line. Second down and one. The toss, the penalty marker comes down to Collins, met at the four-yard line. an extra receiver. There are three wide receivers for Penn State. Collins swinging outside to the right, getting daylight, and he is the Smith, a premier target slotted to the left. They'll toss to Collins instead. There's the first Next touchdown, game. Penn State. I guess when you're one of 19 children, you know how to find that daylight. And that young man did just that. He's back at the extra point. The turnover leads to a Penn State touchdown. It's 17 to 7. The extra point makes it 17 7. Back kicks it off. And BYU will try it again. Mortensen from the 14. Daylight to the 34-yard line. Ty Detmer and BYU trailing it by 10. The fumble, fumble on the snap. And we'll let Guy Gibbs sort this one out. <laughs> Any other talented uh, youngsters in the family coming up? Well, um, the last two children are girls. So he calls back later, and he said, well, we can get him in, Francis, I think, but I don't have any money or grants left. Here's a long pass by Detmer that is complete to the 45. At first and 10 now for BYU. On the move, they need a drive here to get back in it. Detmer changes up the play at the line of scrimmage. He comes back at you so quickly. Open man is Louis Pelotu, out of bounds. So they have brought Sterling into the attack. That was a 27-yard gain. Now it is on second down. And great defense that time by the Nittany Lions. And now it is third and short. And Detmer got an open man incomplete. Down on the BYU bench. They're going to go on fourth down. They brought the blitz. Receivers are covered. In trouble. Fires one in desperation. And it was almost intercepted on that side. First and 10. Saka and the Nittany Lions with the ball coming out on the Penn State 37 on first down. He's got Saka goes deep and he overthrows McDuffie. Nine of 16, Mr. Saka. That's about what his percentage is. He's around a 54% thrower. Was in high school at 54%. Here's a counter. And it's Collins on the short side. Hammered. Saka. Pressure. Sacked at the 31. That's Izaki. Bumbles a fair catch, and Penn State pounces on the ball on the near side. Another turnover by Brigham Young. First and ten. Collins stuffed at the line of scrimmage by Greg Pitts. And Penn State is two and one. The Nittany Lions were beaten last Saturday night in the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. 
by USC. And USC loses today to Arizona State. Sack of firing high and incomplete. Wanted Smith. Sack of changing up at the line. Under pressure. On the move, throwing short and incomplete. Oh, holding. Smith. You know, he's had nine blocks in his career. This one will take a beautiful bounce. Down at the four-yard line. And Bonner had an interception back in the first half. And Brigham Young runs on first down. Detmer trying to get into a rhythm. Back into the end zone under enormous pressure. Throwing incomplete. Third and nine. Detmer. Jackson got it. The goal line is sacked. The ball is down and loose. That'll be ruled an incomplete pass. Penn State forces up Kaufman, and he booms one out of there. They had one partially blocked earlier in the game. This is McDuffie inside the 40 and down at the 32-yard line. Look for him to gamble and come after him. The toss is to Anderson, who is in at tailback. And he's to the 26-yard line. <laughs> Here is the toss to Anderson, and Anderson is stuffed at the point of attack. Tight formation and movement by Penn State. This will bring it back. So he's not dead ball in. foul. False start on the offense. He's not. Third down and six. Inside receiver is Drayton to the left. And they run Gash on the delay against that blitz, and Gash makes his way to the 10-yard line. A great call. And now it's first down after that 18-yard run by Gash. He's carried seven times for 41 yards here tonight. Anderson to the three. Second down and three. Anderson for the touchdown. They liked it. Same play. Why, you know, why complicated? Just run it again. That's what they did. A Fayak. A good hold that time. Bill Spore turned the ball, got it down. Extra point is good. And now Penn State with some daylight. 24-7. And the game seemed to turn around when Brigham Young fumbled the second half kickoff. And Shaka led them down. And it's 24-7. Penn State with the lead. This kickoff will be returned from the goal line by Mortensen. And Mortensen spun around and down at the 24-yard line. Pressure on that offensive line. Detmer into the pocket. Over the middle and incomplete. That one was close. Buster, they need to calm down and get back into the game plan. Has the line provided enough uh, passing time for Tom? Definitely, you know, I think mm. passes the they're holding ball a little too long, trying to get the long passes. So passes. He's 7 of 17 for 147 yards. Oh, after the interference. First and 10 for BYU. Detmer, no time. Doesn't matter who the quarterback is in that situation. Tyoka Jackson. Bump and run from the corners. They press. Oh, Detmer gets it off to Drage and complete on the hit. Does it take a little off your accuracy? They were not good fellows as far as Ty Detmer was concerned. Rolling to the left. Under pressure. Slips He's down. He's down. He put the ball down. He's down. So Ty Detmer under extreme pressure. This is Smith. Good coverage. And down at the 47-yard line. They lead BYU 24-7. Final minute 16 of the third quarter. And this is Anderson cutting back to midfield. BYU to generate any kind of a running game. Saka deep over the middle and intercepted by Gray. And Gray on that far side brings it out to the 44-yard line. And that's, that's too many stops for a defensive back in a game like this. Detmer, receiver covered, wrapped up. He put it down on the hips of a hippo. On 
second down. Detmer firing for Valdez. Incomplete. You can see on most of his tackles, he'll try to hit you with the right shoulder, and he's gone the distance. Detmer under pressure again. And they are just with a savage pass rush. Season. That coach Joe Sara that we watched coaching those linebackers the other day really does a great job with him. So there's McDuffie with the fair catch at the 27-yard line. Now Penn State turned it over here twice tonight. BYU has punted both times. Last play of the third quarter. It's a run by Collins who has scored one of the Nittany Lion touchdowns. And we'll return with more between BYU and Penn State after this message and a word from our ABC station. I don't know why anybody wants to take a Big Ten team out January 1st to the Rose Bowl, but Joe says he'd like to get out there, and here's Gash running to the left. Huh? You know, a team that's been unstoppable so far has been North Carolina State. Very quietly, I think they've put together about a 3 0 mark. Quick spin by Sacco. Ooh, on to McDuffie in a foot race. Arnold's got the angle. McDuffie takes him on, and help comes over from Gray. He's down at the 21 yard line. He was an Eagle fan when I was coaching the Eagles, and his dad was a Redskins fan, so they used to have a lot of arguments. I'd say. Collins. <laughs> third quarter, BYU's total offense was 24 yards against the Penn State defense. Saka to the goal line and knocked away from Smith. Boy, I just wrapped it up. <laughs> that little endorsement. In the round, it's Smith. Smith to the left side with an alley and down at the 15-yard line. And they want to take a look at Fayak, who has been struggling a little bit on fourth down. We've got a long couple of yards. They want to get his confidence restored. He hits the field goal, and that makes it 27 to 7. 12 and a half minutes to go. And Penn State on the way to its third victory of the season. The coaching staff, they trail it 27 to 7. 12 and a half minutes to go. They're going to get the ball back here. Willis with the return. And let's listen as Roger French talked to the offensive team. To how much you make him suffer when he makes it. Remember that. Got it, Coach. <laughs> Detmer running away from pressure. Oh, Jackson's been all over the field, and he dumps one incomplete. They get into that WAC conference. They'll be solid. They'll be fine, and they'll win most of or all their ball games. There's that draw trap. There it is. Peter Tuipelotu out to the 35-yard line. It's 27-7, Penn State over BYU. Detmer got the protection. Open man incomplete. Oh, Scott Charlton should have had that. Either side of the line of scrimmage down there. There's Kaufman. They set the return. That's a return ball, too. It's kicked too low. McDuffie. Down at the 39-yard line. The best in all of us here certainly echo those sentiments tonight. Penn State with the ball. They're strong at the point, though. You know, one thing switching back to Penn State for a moment. And this is a handoff to Anderson. Nice run. We can't say enough about it, but I've never seen him go 40 yards downfield and recover the fumble. A lot has been made about the fact that Saka and Paterno have not always gotten along as they pound for the first down. John Saka. Youngster on the sideline. We were all prepared to introduce you to a new quarterback tonight, to be perfectly honest. Anderson getting to the outside. We thought that Kerry Collins, Tony Saka, and the offense wrapping it up against Brigham Young. Out of bounds. He did a good job of just getting rid of that. And they're not going to beat. Yeah, for sure. That was a great game, but they pounded back today against the Little State. Head ball. Illegal procedure. Offense. Illegal. Saka has plenty of time and fires for the first down to Al Golden, number 89. Good job and teaching job done by both. Only the second meeting. The other was that wild and woolly holiday bowl. Well, I guess the big question about Detmer in the NFL will be his height and his just basic size. McDuffie still on his feet and down at the 23-yard line. Back when they won their first in 82, they were beaten early in the year by Alabama. And then they came back and dumped Georgia and Herschel Walker. Here it's Anderson free. Touchdown, Penn State.
He's made all evening. Back. No good. The snap appeared to be a little bit high. The schedule here in the next few weeks will be played out in Provo. That's a wonderful setting. Kickoff is a short one. Fielded at the 20-yard line by Mortensen, who slips at the 24. So that should be a great quarter and probably has been a whale of a game so far. Detmer again on the run firing downfield incomplete Drage diving for the ball the last time against Penn State he threw for 576 yards almost intercepted by Lee Rubin who picked He's getting lined up late Charlton in motion incomplete this is the first time Penn State blocked a punt, recovered a punt fumble, recovered a kickoff fumble. Smith fielding that one on the 44, cuts back as the Penn State quarterback, Shelley Hammonds, is now the tailback. So here's the first snap to Collins. And they'll use Hammond, who's got quickness, getting to the outside, down at midfield. Let's check in with Roger Clyburn. This one long ago was decided. Penn State 33, Brigham Young 7. BYU has not scored in the second half. And the fullback is Moser. So here is Collins. Down at the 31-yard line over the last three years by BYU. They have not been held to seven points. Shoulder injuries. So this will be the lowest point total ever recorded by Ty Detmer. With the crowd streaming out, Collins and the Mitty Lions are trying to bring down the clock. Got a lot of young people in there. Hammonds down at the 13-yard line. Florida State must play Michigan at Ann Arbor. That's they true. still have games with Miami and Florida, and Dick, I think they can lose any one of those. Oh, yeah, they, well, I think the thing that hurt them is the fact that they're matched against some pretty good football players. Now, I know USC didn't play well today. Yeah. We checked. We thought they were the best team in the country, and then they lost the big one to UCLA. So there again, it's just so tough. Here's Hammonds. And the crowd on the losing side. <laughs> you know, that uh, Nebraska game, we get, we're still seven minutes left in there for the uh, Huskers to... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That is, I know. I, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Here's a toss. Hammond's trying to get him six, but he's short at the five-yard line. Falling to 0 and 3. They will have been beaten by Florida State, UCLA, and now Penn State. Hammond stretching it out and short of the end zone. It was 8 of 26 for 158 yards. One touchdown, one interception. In the first half, he was 5 of 10 for 111 yards. And in the second half, the Nittany Lions held him to 3 of 16 for 47 yards. What a great defensive job here tonight by Joe Paterno and Penn State. 33-7. Penn State over Brigham Young. And the two close friends meet at midfield. Back with a final word in just a moment.